What's up guys, we are back with the macro tracker series. In this video, I want to make a few more changes to our UI. The first thing I want to change, I want to, I want to see how this looks with a large title. And the next thing I want to change is in our cell here. So one thing to note, I believe this doesn't have to be a binding. Originally it was binding because I was going to make the call in this cell. Let's just comment this out for now and see if it runs and if i eat a chicken taco actually not a taco since we were in colombia we are eating an empanada i guess we'll do a beef empanada since empanada ah uh, i can't <laughs> empanada there we go i hesitated oh there we go see they updated and it's perfectly fine so we did not need the binding that was for our initial use case. And now we just need to go back here or down here to this one, macro day view. And let's create another extension. This one is just going to be year and let's year it up. I think my original thinking was where we're going to have the time of when the macro was tracked, but that might not be the case because we're letting people add macros in the past. And actually this is for each date. So the time is irrelevant. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. So we did year here. Now if we run this, how does this look? We should probably do a font dot title. How does that look? Maybe I'll do title two. Definitely title two. <laughs> and huh. I'm going to do secondary here. Nah. We'll keep it like this. This UI could be better challenge for you. Make it better. And send me a picture on Twitter. I'll retweet it. And one last thing I want to try here is I want to see how we can incorporate our images. So let's see, we'll call it resizable scale to fit. Let's run this. I'm pretty sure this is going to look terrible. <laughs> oh, I lied. This looks not too bad. So let's try this with all of them. This one is fats and we just need protein. Run this bad boy. Oh, the protein is devastated. I'm going to do some string interpolation here. And what I'll do is put a comma here and for protein, I think we got to make this smaller. So to 60, actually, let's not put a frame here. Let's see what happens. And did I spell protein wrong or did I spell protein wrong on the image? No, no proteins. That's what's going on. This is not bad. Although what happens here? This sizing, why does it change like that? So for some reason, the sizing changes here. Let's see. I'm going to do some quick manipulation here. What if I do like new line? I'm not sure if you could do this in a day formatter. I am just, ah, yes, you can. There we go. This helps with our formatting. I guess we can get rid of the comma now. All right, we run this and looks like we're pretty much wrapping up here. You guys can feel free to do any changes you want. Make sure this is working. We had an arepa last week on Friday the 13th. Shout out to you if you did anything. Oh, I just saw one challenge or something we could be added here is when you hit done, this should be like loading stale. Like you shouldn't be able to do anything because chat GPT is fetching the data. And when it finishes, we actually don't even know because, because we're not dismissing the view. There we go. So we need to go to our ad macro. So if this is successful, we need to call dismiss here. And actually we can call dismiss here. Hmm. Where do you think we should call it? I think it's kind of personal preference, but I'm going to call it. Hmm. I guess we'll call it in our function. There we go. Now let's try this. Let's say we had an arepa the next day again. And a challenge for you is to add a spinning thing, or you could disable the button. But to be honest, I think like not letting the user do anything because if you disable this button, they could still do this. So maybe just add like a little spinner. I believe Apple has progress view, which gives you a free spinner in Swift UI. You could also implement your custom one and yeah. So 
we're gonna wrap it up here for now this may be the end of the series who knows let me know in the comments down below um bad bunny just released an album that said no what what is the translation um nobody knows what's gonna happen tomorrow <laughs> and that's the case with this series we don't know if it'll continue or not but i uh, thank you guys for watching and i hope you've been enjoying it and i'll see you guys peace